Hello, this is uh, Calypso Programming Part 1, and we are continuing from where we left off with the uh, programming startup video. And so I brought my CAD part in, it's been healed, and I'm going to need to start uh, working on this. So what I have here is a checklist for programming um, in Calypso. Um, generally I'm going to start with the CMM tab, then I'm going to go over to the measurement tab, and then I'm going to do some features, and then I'm going to put some characteristics in. So to start with, we're going to do CMM and we need to choose our stylus system, and so I'll show you what that means here. So here's these tabs, CMM, measurement, Features, characteristics. So you kind of work your way across to the left, except you got to have a feature before you can put a characteristic to it. So a characteristic is like a rule from our print, like perpendicular or parallel or a distance. But I have to have a feature in order to do that with. So we'll get to that. So let's start with CMM. If you remember in settings, is the same as what we did before in the um, Calypso uh, setup uh, video so we shouldn't have to mess with any of this and let me um, come over here and we're going to pick a stylus so stylus system okay this is where those tool tips come in you know the fly out or bubble um, that this calls it up here what does it calls it bubble help all right so um, we're going to come over here to manual um, tool change pick up a stylus system yes I want to insert a stylus system I may be lucky and the system that's in the machine is the correct one we want 3 by 50 almost always um, but it lists me all the ones that are available a star probe uh, the master probe we used to qualify the machine or qualify the stylus on the machine um, but we're going to use a 3 by 50 Say OK and close. I think I might have. No, I didn't. No, OK. So I did that. It's important that I have a check here. If I don't have a check, I might have to do a reference sphere position to qualify it. And I would just pick reference sphere, uh, which you have to have the master probe in first. So we'll go on to that some other time. But mainly, I want to look to see that this is here. Okay, so once this is here, I look up here, my stylus system's a 3 by 50 millimeter. That's exactly what I want, so okay. So I've completed what I need to here. Next, I go to measurement, and I kind of work my way down. Okay, if I go back to my to-do list, measurement, I need to do a base alignment. So this base alignment is basically setting my program zero, the same as I would on a CNC machine. I need X, Y, and Z zero. There's a couple of different ways here that I can do it and that it'll qualify um, those surfaces. So let me show you how I will do that. So I'm going to come in here and base alignment. It um, Base and alignment, create a new standard method is what's default and what I pick. Um, some of these are going to give us some other options, but we want to do standard. Okay, and say OK. It's going to pop up another window here. Notice it has my program name here. Um, so, um, this is kind of in detail what my notes were showing me spatial, planar, origin. So. First of all, I take care of the Z, and the Z, I want, um, well, let's look at the print, make sure I know what I want. So the bottom of the part is datum A. The left side of the part is datum C, and the front of the part, that would give me this corner right here, the front of the part is not labeled anything other than it's perpendicular to A, so B is the back. So we're just going to call it the front, datum A, and datum C. So let's go back to this. 
So I'm going to um, pick over here and I'm going to, I have to choose how I'm going to pick. So let me show you that because there's choices. There's a lot of choices here. So this last tab, which is pick away, select or create geometric geometries from the CAD model. So I'm going to pick it, define select geometries, what I want to use. There's some other options and at different points we'll do that, but for right now we want to define select geometry. I'm going to pick that top surface, which is going to be my Z0, okay, and that was datum A, okay. So it says it's plane one. So my next one, I want to do the front here. I'm going to rotate around. And then next, I'm going to pick the end. And I'll go back here, pick my isometric view. Try and be a little bit better at this. So I got all three of them. So I'm going to say OK. So now it places my um, coordinate system right at that corner which is exactly what I wanted. So, um, so I have my base alignment and if I go back to my thing it says clearance planes. Find the clearance planes from the CAD manual. CAD model. Okay, so I'm going to go back like this. Something that's important is to know that over here it's an inch. Occasionally it may somehow become millimeters. So um, in order to do that refer to the other video on setup and how to change it back to inch. Okay but we're an inch so we're good. So I'm going to set my clearance planes. Now something I want you to see here is what we just did turned green. Clearance planes is red. We haven't done it yet. Watch after we're done, it's going to go green. That kind of lets me know we've set things. Doesn't mean I necessarily did it right. It just means I did something that satisfied it. So I'm going to do alignment relative to the base alignment, okay, which is this new coordinate system that I did. And I can. Um, clearance from the CAD plane from the CAD model. So I can pick it and I can pick a distance. So uh, typically one inch is good, gives me a little bit of breathing room. Okay, so what it did was this is telling me that there's no features yet to definitely say that this works. So we'll get to that and it'll be fine. So I say okay. So if I come back here and click my clearance plane, that's where it did it. Now it did it one inch from my biggest item. Okay, one inch from the top of the part, one inch from the bottom of the part, from the end and the other side. Well, to me, that's way too big. Um, it's going to make it take longer. So. This, I can subtract, you know, hey, my part's two inches long, roughly, and that's six inches. That means that's two inches plus whatever. So I could um, change my numbers, but I have to have positive and negatives. So the other thing is to just put in the numbers because it's going from my zero. So I can say Z is my part thickness plus, so I remember my print it was 990, Z minus, uh, I don't need it to go below. So there we moved it up to the bottom of the part. Um, X minus, I got to keep it a minus number. So minus one. So what I think I want. X is part plus. So I'm going to go with three. And so let's look at a top view here so we can see what's happening. Nope. Pick top. 
Okay, so my x is good, now I'm doing y. y minus is minus 1. That moves it up. My, I think that's almost a 1.5, so I'm going to say 2.5. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Let's take a look at the ISO. Front view, it's an inch above. Yep, that looks pretty good. So now what that means is now when my stylus rapids, it's going to rapid up to here, and then it's going to feed in. Anything inside the glass box is going to be at the feed rate. So that's why you don't want too big, too crazy, because it's going to make things go really, really slow. Let's see what test drive to selected clearance plane is. No, I don't have a program, so I can't see. So, okay. Update clearance plane settings. Yes. Again, it says that um, it has nothing to go to, so we're just going to say okay. Again, if I click on that, it shows it to me. So, I didn't make any changes. Next order of business. Multiple printout. We have uh, created a custom um, report for South Elgin High School. And um, once you run it and this report comes up, you're going to put in your name and your class and some other information. Um, it makes it unique. Um, so I'm going to pick, check the box to turn it on, and then I'm going to pick my report type. So coming back here, multiple reports, printout. I want to pick this up here. Once it's on, it should stay on, but in case it's not, you need to check. Okay, and we are going to settings format. We're going to pick its in generic templates, and we made standard protocol SEHS. Okay, so now, you know, as soon as I save my part, this is going to be set for um, this particular part. So every time I open up this part, all those settings are going to hold true. So I need to save my part. So I'm going to save it. It automatically saves the same place it was last time. So uh, that concludes um, part one of uh, Calypso programming. In the next video, we're going to get into features and characteristics.